Yes. So tell me something, you know, uh, with pause in there, how often, how far out from the shore did you pause? How often did you pause and what? What was your what was your routine? You know, like well, did, you, did you pause after your weight training session, or did you have a certain day where you said to yourself, okay, every Monday or Wednesday I'm gonna pause and go through my routine? How is it? So people get an idea how a pro did it in your time. You know. Um, can be it didn't have to be just a uh, weird pose. Uh, just to get the movement down, not exactly what they, because a lot of people get freaked out, look at themselves. But it's more so art of the of the sport. It's, you know, get the, uh, you know, get a good idea what you're trying to display or trying to show uh, your physique the best, and get the movement down. Get the all that stuff takes time, you know. Even uh, myself, Melvin, and Anthony, we would be in an in apartment working on spins and working on coming down to the ground and bringing ourselves back up. How do you do that? How do you do that? You know, yeah. so you have to know Trump how to use your arms. You just, yeah, you got to use you got to use your body to flex. So then we get down to competition. We were doing anywhere from thirty minutes to. Uh, 45 to an hour. Um, I, I, like I said, I used to grow up with Robbie Robinson. And he's in the uh, stomping his feet, yelling at me, come on, Chris. And, <laughs> you know, he's all pissed off that I didn't do something right. I got a puddle of water around my, my, my feet. And, uh, you know, the windows are all fogged up. Yeah. Yeah. That's the word, but I never, I never complained once. Once have I ever complained about the word? <laughs> that's what, that's what, what it is. Saying. You know, like, you know, you know, the thing about it is, I think, you know, why pausing is so underrated is because no bodybuilders hardly talk about how much pausing they do. It's always about training, nutrition. You never hear any bodybuilder say, "Oh, you know what? I've been pausing for forty-five minutes today. I've been doing this for today." It's, a, it's it's only when you see them come on stage and you're thinking, fuck me, that's a good routine, you know? And, so what are you and, and doing? you're thinking, you, when you're you're thinking like somebody like you is a natural born entertainer, but like you just said, you wasn't, you were shy. Yeah, yeah. You you know? Know? I was young and I could flex my hamstrings but when I'm just, you know, and I don't, I'm maybe 19 years old, I could flex my hamstrings. I could roll my stomach when I was around 12. So I had different connections with my body before I started to pose. And then when I started putting a routine together, I had different ways I can control the muscles in different areas of my body. And then I would utilize that in my routine. Uh, but the thing is, uh, when you are, you know, get to the point where you're able to just pose on a hit on a dime to whatever music, that's how you want to be so fluent because you want to be able to practice so much that you're able to just do it. You know, you you don't need to practice uh, what movements you got to do because you do it so much. I used to go uh, film myself hitting poses six minutes straight, just go nonstop posing, nonstop posing, and I would do that uh, as I got closer to shows. Uh, when I'm listening to my music, my routine, then I'm like. I'm trying to put together something. I may be feeling some kind of way about somebody. <laughs> I, might feel, I might have some of my routine dedicated to like how it felt in some type of situation, training for the show, uh, some type of... Uh, so, uh, go ahead. So, so basically, when you choose a music, you feel some connection to that music. Yeah, yeah. So, so and it's, it's not just like, you know, whatever group, but it was like something happened or something. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, this, I'm feeling this, yeah. And I'm yeah, listening I'm to it all the time, the whole time I'm training for the show. I'm playing it over and over and over and over and over, knowing each beat, each sound, each something that maybe you can utilize some kind of movement and, and, and yeah. put yeah, because, into that, that sound. Yeah, because a lot of people don't realize is that when you, when you choose a pupil pose in music or song or something, you gotta to listen to the beats and 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 say to yourself, okay, on that beat I'm gonna flex, on that beat I'm gonna 
it will go on to my next movement. And on that exactly. beat, I'm going to yeah. pause. On that beat, I'm going to pause. That beat, I'm going to pause. So every time I start beat, so yeah. it's not the word. It's but not then, the word in the song. And then, and then you know, sometimes the crowd is really feeling you. Maybe they want a little bit more. Maybe you was planning on leaving. I'd still be out there, you know, yeah. giving the crowd something that there was, you know, if they was feeling it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then, Chris, uh, Chris, Chris, listen. We've given people a little a, a snippet of your thought. I'm going to get you back on for a weekly uh, thing. So, you know, we talked some, some about the pausing this week. And, you know, I want you to just tell me, uh, just leave some piece of advice to the young men nowadays. Something about pausing. What would you advise people? Um, don't, don't think that you could just look at YouTube and get a routine. I mean, you can do that, but you really want to be serious about it. Get with somebody that you trust that that uh, has a good track record, not just a good Instagram uh, number or something like that. Yeah. And just take you through the basics of, like I started with you, I started with the basics. Basics, yeah. basics, basics. Go from yeah. there, then we can get to different levels. But get with someone that's not going to try to throw everything at you for, uh, from the start. Uh, you know, you can like certain poses on certain competitors, but Understand your body. Your body needs to to be able to pull off that pose with your development and with your connection and your control of your body. So yeah. understand all that. It's not just fine looking at a cool pose. It's gotta match your physique and match your style and whatever style you're trying but to develop. Like you said, like you, you. like you said to me, the main thing was when you first go. Listen, we're starting from the beginning, the basics, and if you. If you develop uh, sooner, we move quicker. If you don't, we stick to it until you move. Right. So the first right. thing we need to do is get your quarter turn right, your relaxed right. quarter turns. And then from right. there, we work on to your uh, mandatory pauses because that's right. what's going to differentiate you that's from first mind, place yeah. to sixth place. And after that's that, it. once we realize what pauses look good on you, uh, then we can start working on your pause routine. And from there, then we can go on to choosing a song and so on and so on. So it's not just like, oh, okay, to pause, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, great, do this, do this, do this. That looks good on you. And it's too much information. And before you know it, you've forgotten everything right. for the next session. You know what I mean? And and like you said, like I can say to people, is one, right. one pausing session is not going to do nothing for you. One pausing session... No. It's not going to do nothing. Two is not going to do nothing. Three is not going to do nothing. It's like learning to drive a car, guys. <laughs> yeah. you, you're not going to have one, two, or three lessons to learn to drive a car. But obviously, if you get to your test uh, level within 20 lessons, great. But if you don't, then you keep on doing it until you do it. And, and one thing you, uh, I can say to people is when you've got somebody like Chris and you want to find somebody who you can gel with, and you can talk to, and he's going to be honest with you about everything, and he's on a level with you, then things will work out even better, you know what I mean? Because you know the guy's not full of shit, and and find somebody like who, somebody like Chris, you know what I mean? And you, you know, go on Chris's Instagram page, uh, Chris the Real Deal, if you don't know where he is, follow me and search for him off my profile, or once I post this video, this first one, you can search for him. Mm -hmm.